So we thank our dead teacher. Uh, we're not going to start the mass for uh, today. First Holy Communion for Wendy. It's very important. It's a special day. So as we all come together, we entreat you to respectfully follow whatever we're going to do today. We're going to pray with and for Wendy as she receives the first Holy Communion. So thank you very much for all our teachers, Ms. White is here. At the end of the Mass, there's going to be a special presentation also to Wendy. Um, we will present something to, to her. Um, a certificate <coughs> also to indicate that she's now a communicator. Wherever she goes, she can uh, receive the body of Christ. So in a minute, we're going to start the Mass. Some of you will lead us in the reading and in the bidding prayers. So when it gets to that time, you'll be invited to come here and lead us in those readings. Thank you. So we're going to start the Mass in a minute. We begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, and to the Lord Jesus Christ. And be of your spirit. My dear friends, and all of you who have come to this chapel, our dear teachers, and Wendy, today is a special day for us. We will come to uh, join Wendy as she receives her first Holy Communion. Jesus Christ coming to me in our hearts, and particularly in the heart. And so we pray for her. The school community, everyone is behind you, and we pray for you. And so we ask Almighty God to be with all of us who have come also to support her with our prayer. And so in a moment of silence, let us say sorry to God for the times that all of us we haven't been good friends, maybe times that we've done something wrong, times that we've done something that we are not proud of. Let us say sorry to God and ask Him for pardon and mercy. You were sent to do the contract of art. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice and trouble their devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. So we're not going to listen to our readings. <coughs> When we sat by the flesh pots and ate our fill of bread, for you have brought us out in this paradise to kill this force of the people. When the Lord said to Moses, I am going to rain the earth to kill them. And each day the people shall go out and gather them up for battle. When from that moment I will test them, whether they follow my instruction or not. I have heard the complaining of the children. Say to them, at twilight you shall be here, and in the morning you shall have the Lord. Then you shall know that I am the Lord of the Lord. 
In the evening, quills came up and covered the camp, and in the morning, there was a layer of dew around the camp, and the layer of dew lifted. There on the surface of the wilderness was a fine flaky substance, as fine as frost on the ground. And the Israelites saw it and said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said unto them, It is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. We all say the gospel of our message together. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the living bread which has just come down from heaven, says the Lord. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of unleavened bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where will you have us go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? And he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. And wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, where is my guest room? Where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. There prepare for us. And the disciples set up and went to the city, found it just as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover. And as they were at the table, he took bread. And after blessing them, broke it and gave it to them. And said, Take, this is my body. And he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood, blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly I say to you, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink the new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung in him, he went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, today, as we said at the beginning of the Mass, it is a special day for us. And particularly for Wendy, it is a very special day for her. You know what the importance of food to the body is? We eat so that we can keep the physical body strong and active, so that we will always be strong, we can do whatever we do. And so does the spiritual food as well. Jesus Christ coming to be in our heart. So the body of Christ is Jesus himself going to live in our heart. After so many years of destruction, we probably would have done that before the doctor, but we kept up. But hopefully, uh, this day was prepared for Wendy. And so, all of us are happy to be here today to witness this occasion. And so, Wendy, today Christ is going to live in your heart and He's going to protect you, journey with you wherever you go, and 
you can always come to Christ and not say your name's in your heart. So you're not going to be a big religion. So it's important. So whenever you receive the Holy Communion, just think of this word, altar. Okay? Altar. Always let that ring in your mind. Altar is, yes, this is the altar. So when Christ comes to you, the altar, A, will start for adoration. That you want to worship Christ, you want to adore Him. He has come to live in your heart. And then the L will represent love. You want to love Him. You want to love Jesus so that you will be a very nice person to people around you. And then the T is thanksgiving. So you thank Him for all the blessings, for everything God has done for you, your family and your friends. And then we have the we have the A means the ask. So you ask Jesus anytime you are down, anytime you want Jesus to do something for you, you can ask. And the last one, the R, means to resolve. You want to resolve to do something new. I want to be a better person. I want to be nicer. I want to be extra nice to people. So when Christ comes to us, always remember this. So today we wish you well and we pray for you and we pray that the good Lord may continue to live in you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So it is now time for our feeling prayers. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for Wendy, who has been touched by the Holy Spirit through baptism, and today he is celebrating the sacrament of the Eucharist, that she may always allow God's power to work through her. Lord, we pray that you will help her to go Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray that you will protect even your children around the world, especially those who are most vulnerable at this time. Those who are sick and those who are affected by you, shine your light and bless you and protect them from darkness. Lord, we pray for your mercy. Hear our prayer. I will now ask our Mother Mary to join our prayer. As we pray, help her. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless about thou in the And this is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, the Lord of God, pray for us sinners now and that they are of our death. Amen. Lord, we ask you to bless all who gather here and to the wider community of St. Peter's house in high school. As we join this special mass to celebrate Wednesday's first Holy Communion, we are faith be firm, our hope sure, and our love without end. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, for work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of blood. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. 
for God to provide this to the upper of your altar and count our possessions as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion. We ask you to bless this day and bless the Wendy as she prepares to receive her first Holy Communion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just our salvation. We always know the way to give you thanks. God will empower our mighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our prayers, yet our thanksgiving is itself your care. Since our prayers are open to your greatness, but profit us for our salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the class of angels, we praise you as with joy we are clear. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the point of all holiness. Mercifully, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them by the due form, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and then willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which you will give up for you. In a similar way, when Sopho was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the child of salvation, giving thanks that have brought us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come here, we pray, that taking of his body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with our circle, John, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph S. Christ, the blessed apostles and other saints who have pleased you throughout the ages to be married to the poorest in eternal life, and may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and from my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope. And the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, glory and goodness now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who you sent your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. You do not allow sins from the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your cross, who lead and reign forever and ever. <laughs> the peace of the Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have no sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have no sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have no sins.
He broke the Lamb of God before him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the support of the Lamb. So it's now time for us to receive the first the communion. But well, Wendy is now going to receive a first the communion. So she'll be called up here on the altar to receive the first the communion. And the situation is such that she can't take the, the blood of Christ now. Um, because of the situation we find us. But it's the same thing. So you're going to be right here and then you take your first Holy Communion. Then after that, this is why it's I will share with us something as regards how we're going to receive the Holy Communion. Yes, this is why you now say After Wendy has received her first Holy Communion and Wendy comes back to her place, we will then go row by row. So you come out this way to Father, either to receive communion on your hand or to receive a blessing. And for a blessing, you just cross your arms across your legs, and everyone can have a blessing because it's God's blessing. So let Wendy have her special um, receiving of communion for us. Thank you very much. May I invite when the class she comes to receive the first week. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament, in which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life and grant your special blessings to your daughter, Wendy, who receives a test of the Holy Communion today. Grant this through Christ our Lord. So we've now come to the end of the Mass. Before the final blessing, I invite uh, Mrs. White to come. We're going to do some presentations to Wendy. Thank you, Mr. To the way in which you have really respectfully celebrated when you first got the communion. I have just a few um, presentations for when finish. Shall we now invite Wendy to come forward? So this is a certificate of the first holy communion to present it to Wendy. Wherever she goes, the Universal Church, the Catholic Church, you are a communicant. Once you understand the grace, you can always go to communion. Okay, so we have the chaplain, which is white myself, um, or Joe, we present to you this certificate.